Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I wanna to share with you a really great dinner for two that you could make for Valentine's Day or any special dinner that you're trying to make at home. In our house, it's me and my daughter, as most of you know, and I like to make the holidays special as much as I can, and I love to think of great menus for holidays like Valentine's Day. Making dinner at home doesn't have to be boring. There's a lot of great options for you. This year, I decided on a bistro-style meal. On the menu, we have steak and mushrooms served with crispy oven fries. And for dessert, we have a creamy, delicious chocolate mousse. Let's go ahead and get started. To make our chocolate mousse, I have my makeshift double boiler here with a pot with a little bit of water. I'm gonna get that going with another bowl into it and get one cup of chocolate chips going in my little double boiler. Now we're gonna crack six eggs and we're gonna separate the yolk. I'm gonna get our egg whites into our mixer and have them whip until those beautiful stiff peaks form. Just like that, they're nice and light and frothy and we're gonna set those aside. I'm gonna add just a little bit of butter to our melting chocolate and then I'm gonna remove it from the heat. To our melted chocolate, I'm gonna add the yolk and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Finally, I'm going to combine our chocolate mixture with our fluffy egg whites. This is ready to be poured into serving cups and chilled. I'm just gonna fill the mousse in here and have it chilled in the fridge ready to go and it just makes it a little bit more special when you put it in a pretty glass. side we're going to make crispy oven fries and in the recipe you'll notice there's four potatoes that I'm going to use but since we're making dinner for two I'm just going to use two potatoes. We're just going to begin by slicing our russet potatoes. Now you can use whatever kind of oil you like. I like to use olive oil, coconut oil, or even tallow if you have it. I use a quarter cup for two potatoes. Cracked black pepper, a little bit of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna mix these up in the pan, making sure everything is coated. For our steaks, I have some beautiful rosemary here, and this will be also for, I, I might put them in the mushrooms too, but I also like using dried thyme for the mushrooms. So in the recipe, you'll notice I'm either calling for dried thyme or rosemary. You don't need both, but you certainly can use both if you'd like. I have two cloves of garlic here that I'm gonna get minced up and get over to our pan. Okay, we're ready for our steaks. I have my cast iron skillet here. If you have a grill pan, use that. 
uh, but you could use either or on that or a heavy bottom pan will work just fine too. I have two New York steaks about an inch and a half thick. I have let them come to room temperature. So what you want to do is remove them from your refrigerator about 30 minutes before you want to cook them. It's very important not to cook very cold meat. You don't want it to sear and get very chewy um, because of the cold and the heat from the skillet. So I have let these come to room temperature so they're ready to cook. To flavor our steaks, I'm going to take a rosemary sprig and I'm going to rub both sides of each steak. Then I'm going to salt and pepper each side as well. And finally, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of avocado oil over our steaks. I want to make sure this is very hot before we add the meat and you want it so much so that it should smoke almost slightly. That's the sound you wanna hear. I allow the steaks to cook for three to four minutes to get a nice sear before flipping. Now that those are flipped, I'm gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter and my chopped garlic. And I'm just gonna scoop the butter and the garlic over the steaks as they finish off cooking. Now that our steaks are cooked, I've removed them from the pan, wiped the pan out, and now I'm adding two tablespoons of butter. An eight ounce package of mushrooms, or about three cups. I have a clove of chopped garlic, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and a half a teaspoon of chopped rosemary. Add a little salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna let these cook for just a few minutes. To serve, I like to place this on a platter or you could do individual plates, of course. And our chocolate mousse has set. To serve our chocolate mousse, I like to sprinkle just a little bit of extra chocolate to the top of these for a nice touch. today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoy this dinner for two bistro style meal. Have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you guys on the next one.